When we think of Indonesia, we often picture Bali's pristine beaches, the tranquil Toba Lake, and the lush rainforests and mountains associated with this country. It's a land of natural wonders and breathtaking beauty, but Indonesia is more than just a picturesque escape. This vast archipelago is also home to some of the largest megaprojects in the world that are redefining its landscape. From the lightning speed Jakarta Bandung high speed rail to the audacious new capital city of East Kalimantan, these colossal endeavors are not just changing Indonesia, they're shaping its future. So, subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds and join us as we embark on a journey to uncover five of the most anticipated engineering mega projects in Indonesia. These monumental feats are about to shift your perspective on this Southeast Asian gem. We will also unveil the seismic impact they're set to have on this enchanting country. So, stick around, you won't want to miss this journey into Indonesia's future. Let's kick off the list with Indonesia's incredible $7 billion high speed rail project. In the dynamic world of engineering marvels, Indonesia proudly hosts one of the most groundbreaking projects, the Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway. This trailblazing initiative marks Southeast Asia's very first high speed railway, forging a vital link between Jakarta, the bustling current capital, and Bandung, the populous heart of West Java province. This ambitious railway venture is a pivotal part of China's Belt and Road infrastructure endeavor and was largely funded by China. The railway line is going to be home to a cutting-edge Chinese-made bullet train, aptly named Wush, set to slash travel time between the two cities from the current three hours to a mere 40 minutes. As of October 2, 2023, this visionary railway commenced its commercial operations, opening a new chapter in Indonesia's transportation history. Originally slated to cost $5.5 billion and be completed by 2018, the project faced its share of challenges, resulting in an increased budget of $7.9 billion. Unforeseen hurdles, including the impact of the pandemic and logistical delays, contributed to this budget extension and delayed opening, amounting to a $1.2 billion overrun. To bridge this financial gap, China and Indonesia joined forces, utilizing the state budget to cover the escalated costs. Next on our list is the CGK3 data center. Nestled in the vibrant TB Simatupang area of South Jakarta, Indonesia, the CGK3 data center emerges as a cutting edge addition to the world of data management. Owned by Big Data Exchange, or BDX Indonesia, a groundbreaking $300 million joint venture involving BDX, Indosat Uridu, and Lintasata, this facility is set to redefine data management and security in the archipelago. With a formidable capacity of 15 megawatts and tier 3 standards, the CGK3 data center is designed to be a beacon of sustainability, boasting an eco-friendly, below-average power usage effectiveness. This facility will feature the latest technology, complete with state-of-the-art cooling systems and robust security measures, safeguarding their invaluable data. The grand debut of this powerhouse is anticipated by the end of 2023, perfectly complementing the four existing facilities BDX has in Indonesia. But why is the CGK3 data center so important? The data center promises reliable and secure data solutions for clients across the Asia-Pacific region, ensuring their critical data is safe. It is also poised to stimulate regional economic diversification, acting as a catalyst for increased investments. The total investment value for this project stands at a staggering $150 million, underlining the commitment to creating a digital hub of the future in South Jakarta. Next up is Nusantara, Indonesia's ambitious new capital city in East Kalimantan. In 2019, President Joko Widodo unveiled a visionary plan to create a new capital city in East Kalimantan, designed to relieve the pressures weighing down Jakarta, Indonesia's current capital. Overcrowding and the alarming issue of land subsidence due to excessive groundwater extraction made this ambitious project a necessity. Spanning a vast 180,000 hectares of government-owned land, the new capital city's location minimizes the burden of land acquisition costs. This pioneering venture is set to emerge as a smart and green city, epitomizing advanced infrastructure and technology. In the upcoming year, the budget allocated to start this monumental project stands at approximately 35.5 million US dollars. 
The Indonesian government has also earmarked a substantial $2.7 billion in its 2024 budget for the construction of this new capital city named Nusantara, nestled in the heart of East Kalimantan on the island of Borneo. The new capital is poised to alleviate the congestion and environmental challenges that have plagued Jakarta for years. It also promises to stimulate economic diversity within the region and attract substantial investments. The development of this grand project is divided into three phases, with the final phase expected to be concluded by 2045. Given the number of failed cities in China and Malaysia, do you think governments should undertake such dynamic projects by themselves? Now, let's take a look at the BUMN Tower. In the heart of Jakarta, a towering vision is set to redefine the city skyline. The BUMN Tower, a proposed skyscraper, aims to not only reshape the urban landscape, but also make history as the tallest building in Southeast Asia, soaring to a breathtaking 700 meters. Designed by Alien and fortified by Atkins, this architectural marvel will occupy a sprawling expanse of over 20,000 square meters, housing various elements from hotels and community centers to a majestic mosque, retail spaces, museums, cultural centers, and more. The inspiration behind this colossal structure is drawn from the unity and prosperity symbolized by the bond of rice, mirroring the values of the Ministry of BUMNs committed to managing Indonesia's resources for the nation's welfare. At the center of the BUMN tower, you'll find the ceremonial plaza, graced by a circular design symbolizing infinity, harmonious unity, and unwavering integrity. But what makes the BUMN tower truly forward-thinking is its commitment to sustainability. It's equipped with renewable energy technology, boasting photovoltaic facades, wind turbines, and solar farms, underlining its dedication to environmentally conscious design. Although still in the proposal stage, the BUMN Tower represents a promising addition to Jakarta's ever-evolving skyline, serving as a symbol of Indonesia's determination to embrace modernization and progress. Quite a beautiful design, don't you think? And last but not least, we have the Makota II Bridge. In the heart of East Kalimantan, Indonesia, the Makota II Bridge project is taking shape as a testament to connectivity and growth. Under the watchful eye of the Indonesian government and the Ministry of Public Works and Housing, this construction endeavor aims to span the Mahakam River, linking the vibrant cities of Samarinda and Balikpapan. This impressive bridge, designed as a cable-stayed marvel, features a main span elegantly supported by cables attached to towering structures. This innovative design not only provides structural stability, but also allows for longer spans without the need for additional support structures within the river. The bridge is expected to enhance transportation connectivity, reduce travel times, and create a surge in economic activity in the region. The Makota II bridge project promises to invigorate the local economy by streamlining transportation, facilitating trade, and boosting tourism. Moreover, it offers an alternative route for commuters and eases the strain on existing road networks, alleviating congestion and making daily life more efficient. As we conclude our journey through Indonesia's engineering wonders, we hope you've gained a fresh perspective on this diverse nation. From high-speed rails to sustainable capital cities, Indonesia is proving that it's not just a land of natural beauty, but a hotbed of innovation and transformation. But we'd love to hear from you. Which of these mega-projects impressed you the most, and what do you think they mean for Indonesia's future? Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds to stay tuned for more exciting explorations of the world's most remarkable mega projects and innovations. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, keep your curiosity alive.